Hey everybody, this is Mozzie from Mozzie Studio, and today I'm going to do an unboxing and review of some new paints that I got. So let's get into it. Here's the box. Obviously, I got it from Amazon. <laughs> I have actual knives, but you know, if you have a palette knife, why not use that? So I got the Arteza pack of 60 acrylic paints, premium. Here's all the colors. I have heard mixed reviews about this. I looked on the reviews for it on Amazon, where obviously I got this from, and some people said these were really great, but kind of the overall consensus was that these are good for the price, but they're not something that you'd want to use if you're a professional artist or if you're a serious painter. But I had a big coupon for them. I got it way, way, way cheap. It was, it's originally like around $40 and I got it for less than 25 so. And I'm in dire need of new paint. So I thought that I would just give it a go and try it out and see how I like it. So let's open this up here. I already really like the packaging. There are 60 22 milliliter paints. Oh, oh look at them, they're so beautiful. Except why is this turned weird? Let's fix that real quick. There we go. Ah, oh, so beautiful. Let's unpack these. So, here are all the paints. <laughs> There's a lot of them. From what I can tell just right now, they have a really great variety of different colors. Although, I do wish that they had more blue colors. It looks like they have a lot of warm colors, but not so much cool colors. They have, you know, um, these oranges and yellows um, and browns and um, kind of warm pinks and purples. I would have liked a little bit more blue and maybe a little bit less orange. So the things that I'm going to be testing out with these is, first of all, the thickness of the paint when it comes out of the tube, and how fast it dries, how well it mixes, how easily it applies to canvas. I also read in the reviews on Amazon that the colors in the tubes don't really match the printed labels which is not totally a, a new thing. A lot of companies do that with paints and stuff. The one company that always had perfect paint inside and outside the tube, like it always matched, that I've discovered was Golden because they don't actually print their labels. They take a little swatch of paint and put it on the front. This is a Golden paint tube, and if you can see, it has a little swatch, it has some lines of black, and then it has a swatch of paint over the top. So this is the paint that's inside the tube. And this is really great, very helpful for me as an artist because it tells me how um, transparent the paint is, how much of the black goes through. So I imagine that these printed labels will be a slightly different color than the paint at the very least because ink and paint work the pigmentation sometimes works a little bit differently. So that's what I'm going to be testing out with these. So I will get back to you once I have tested these. Okay, so I did start the painting where I was testing out the Arteza paints and I discovered during that process that every single Amazon review about the mismatching labels to the paints was totally true. And um, I kept taking out paints and putting them on my palette to use that I thought were the right colors that in fact 
were not the colors I wanted at all. So I um, decided that it would be a good idea to swatch these paints, which you should always do. I mean, I did this late and I should have done that earlier. That's just, just a smart thing, it's just what you should do. Um, and I'm very glad that I did it now um, because I discovered some things. So you can see here, I just created my own little swatch board out of some Canson 11 by 17 watercolor paper. I just drew a grid of 60 squares, labeled each square according to the name of the paint, and then I drew uh, four or five black lines with some black sharpie to show the transparency of the paint. So I just put a little dollop of paint and then um, used a brush to brush it over those lines just to see the general um, consistency and transparency of the paint. So. I don't want to get too too much into the review right now because I'll do that when I release the actual painting video which I'll release very soon but um, one thing I will say these paints dry incredibly fast in the time that I took that it took me to put the little doll paint and then paint the the swatch um, in these last three rows so it took me like maybe five minutes or so to just put these dollops of paint over all of these last three rows that I'm doing right now and then brush over those lines. The, the paint had already started to dry so basically on all three of those last lines you can see a little like ring of, of dried paint, like a tiny little ring of dried paint on the side of each swatch where I put the little dollop of paint because it it started to dry around the base of the dollop in that like four or five minutes that it took me to just you know unscrew the caps and put the little dollop so it dries like super fast um, but I will say that I'm very pleased with the variety of the colors. So you wouldn't know this from just looking at the labels, but there is generally a pretty good balance of warm to cool colors. A lot of the greens that they have, they have a ton of greens, are actually pretty blue toned. And then a lot of what I thought were browns are actually reds. And I mean, those are still warm colors, but I thought they just had a ton of oranges and browns, but half of those oranges and browns that I saw were red. So there's this one color, Bordeaux Red, that I actually started using. I was gonna use on my painting for the hair that I wanted to be brown, because I thought it was brown and it was actually red. And I also didn't think that this set had a black. I was like, how on earth can these people not have a black in a 60 set of acrylic paints? But they did, the label was just like a, a gray color. So do swatch your colors. Um, another super cool thing about this pack in particular is that they have like four or five metallic paints that are really gorgeous and sparkly and pigmented. And you would never have known that just looking at the labels because there's no type of sheen or texture to them. So definitely do your swatches. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing and swatching video. And stay tuned for my painting review that I'm going to be releasing in the next couple of days. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a really, really awesome week. And I'll see you next time.